Boy, do I have a doozy for you today. I got a double trade today. We're going to watch two trades play out. They're both, I caught them both on film, and I'm going to show you the ins and outs of exactly what happened, why I looked for the entry, how I managed the trade, and then just wrapped up in all of this, I'm going to give you the number one most important day trading tip of all time, in my humble opinion. Without this tip, I just don't think that on the long-term basis, you can be as successful as is possible. You leave a lot of money on the table if you don't follow this one tip. And I'm going to give that to you here in just a little bit. But I want to set these trades up. So check this out. We're looking at AMD. We're on the 15-minute time frame. This is TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform. And you can see I've got an order right here. I've got an order for 1,200 shares to go long. And a lot of you already know that I like to trade breakouts to the upside and the downside. And you can see this last 15-minute candle right here. The high of that candle, I put my order between a nickel and a dime above that level for an entry. I'm setting a 25 cent stop loss. That's based on my back trading, my back testing, which is over 100 trades now. And this is trade number 104. So I'm looking to take it long, and I sped this up because it took a little bit of time. So let's press play on this, and you'll see what happens here. Market opens. It hangs, it hangs, it hangs. You can see it breaks through. There's just a slight delay sometimes. So I got triggered in, and right now, everything is gorgeous. I'm up almost $250. I'm getting ready to edit this order so that what I can do is, once I see 2.5R, on my P&L, which is $750, then I'm gonna to look to move this stop loss to 2R, which is $600. Because as we talked about yesterday, and if you didn't catch yesterday's video, I'll post it up right here, but yesterday's video, I talked about my R being $300. $300 risk unit on each trade, looking to risk one to make 2.5. But once I get to 2.5, I slip that stop loss up to two real quick, and then I'm going bar by bar strategy from then on. So I'll press play again. You can see this turns right around on me. I'm getting ready to edit that order. If we hit 750, I'll fire it off. Watching 500, 550, 450, 400, 300. Oh no, it's eroding. I'm losing ground. And that was it. So you can see right there, I got filled, stopped out at 9396, 9395. So it took slightly larger than a 1R loser. That was really unfortunate, and that's pretty rare. They don't usually go that far and then fail. Usually it's like I'm up $100, $200, and then it fails. I don't even get to 1R. But today, I was almost a 2R, and then it flipped and failed on me. So no big deal. If you go back to yesterday's video, you'll know that I committed to changing my trade plan. I'm now playing the high, and I'm playing the low every time because I don't want to miss the monster trade, the monster. So here we go, playing this one. You can see I've got this order set up now to go short. I'm watching for this to drop below the low of this last 15 minute candle. If I get that, I'm gonna trigger in short. And it hangs around, triggers me in, and you can see right there, I got a nice, beautiful fill, 1200 shares right away at 93.65. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up this trade, and I'm going to edit this order. You can see me doing that right here. And I'm going to change that to 50 cents lower, which I do right here, 93.15. It's 50 cents lower than 93.65. So if this trade shows $750 on the P&L, I'm going to fire off that new stop loss to move to 2R, so that I can get underneath it, so that I guarantee profit, and then I let the trade decide. I let AMD do all the work and decide how far it wants to go, because then I'll just play it bar by bar on the way down. Now this one also looked really good. I was pretty excited about this, and my number one tip for day trading is coming up here in just a second. I want you to tell me if you can pick out what the tip is. Look at this thing push back up. It gave me profit, it took it away, and look how close that came. <laughs> Zoom that in, look how close I am to being stopped out. Okay, drops back down, so you're thinking, oh, okay, he's safe, great. 
heading back into the profit zone. It's giving me a little more back into the 300s. Then it takes it away. Then it gives it back. Then it takes it away a little. Then it gives, then it takes. Now keep watching this trade because then it starts to push. It starts to push down, start to feel confident, but then guess what happens? It starts to take it away again. It keeps taking and giving. Look at that come back. I'm basically almost red after being up over $400 in both directions. It gives back to me a little bit, takes away. I'm only up a couple hundred bucks here. So what do you think? Somebody might say, just punch the flatten button. Just get out. Take what profit you have. And that's where my tip comes in. I'm going to pause this. The number one tip for all day traders is patience. If you have a plan, patience. You can't break that plan. If you break that plan, if I would have punched out right here for $204.12 right here, if I'd have just said, I'm out, I can't do it, I'm out. Watch what I would have missed. Takes more from me, takes more from me. I'm just waiting to fire off that new stop loss, waiting for it to show 750 on the PL. Look what my patience, look how my patience paid off. Watch this thing drop. It takes forever. It absolutely takes forever. And this can be agonizing. But if you know what your mechanics are, you don't have to make any decisions. All you're doing is waiting for certain things to happen. It's an algorithm. And here it comes. 540 on the PL, 650 on the PL, 7. Oh, there it went. So we got there's 732 right now where I froze it, but I just fired off that stop loss. I moved the stop loss from my original position of minus 25 cents. I've now moved it in my favor by 50 cents. So that if I get stopped out of this, the worst I can do is 2R. So then you can see this P&L continues to push, 750, 820. And I think we max out. I'm getting ready to adjust my stop loss again. There's 900. And you can see right there. So I went ahead and fired off the new stop loss, dropped it down uh, another 10 cents. So you can see that here. And then you can see on the PL, we get as high as, I believe, $1,000, 1035 we hit. And then what happened was it backtracked on me enough and it took me out of the trade. So I ended up being up $708 on this trade. I ended up making a little over one R on the day because I did have the loser on the other side. So if I take my, let's do the quick math. If I take my $708 and I subtract my $354 loser, let's take 708 minus 354, and we divide that by 300. So I ended up with about almost 1.2 R gain on the day because I took the up and the down. Now. If this would have been a monster, this would have totally reinforced the plan from yesterday about taking both sides every time because if I only take one side, I would have been stopped here and never seen this other, this other down move. Now, if this would have gone 14R, that would have been amazing because it would have reinforced everything and that's, it would have been a textbook, a textbook play for my strategy, which would be bar by bar after I get to 2.5R. So. Share this video, subscribe if you haven't, hit that like button. I wanna know about your strategy and how you're doing with managing trades once you're in because patience is the key, it's the most important thing. Look what it would've cost me today. I'd have been out for 100 bucks, 150 bucks, but instead I walk away with $708 out of this downside trade. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for stopping by for trade number 104 and trade 105. Tune in tomorrow for Trade 106. We'll see you then.